Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, um, actually, my full name is Mahamadi Sana, but uh, Madi is my nickname, and my last name is Sana. I'm a student here in Centralia College, and I'm actually not from Africa and Burkina Faso. I'm from Venezuela. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm um, from Burkina Faso, is in West Africa. I was born in Central Africa and grew up uh, in France. So I learned a lot going back home in Burkina Faso. So I um, will be happy to share with some things I know about my country. So ways in, of Burkina Faso, this is Burkina Faso. This is African map, and you can see Burkina Faso in, uh, in the coast. So I'm just going to, so this is Burkina Faso. And we have like, you know, uh, closest country like Benin, Nigeria, Togo, Ghana, and uh, Niamey, and every coast. So it's pretty, it's a landlocked country. So, and um, the short name of Burkina Faso is, we can also call Burkina, Burkina just the first word, B U. R K I N A Burkina Faso. It's like we have like uh, 17 million people population. Small country, but a lot of people. <laughs> and the meaning of Burkina Faso come from uh, two national language named More and Jula. And the meaning of Burkina Faso is uh, the country of honest people. So we really honest in Burkina Faso. We mostly. A lot of people in Africa know that Burkina is more, more so about integrity. Yeah. French is the official language. And uh, we have at, at least 60 ethnic groups. And uh, a lot of diversity of languages. So we're really powerful on culture and art and, and stuff. It's really nice to visit, if you guys would like. <laughs> So mostly my topic today will be, I will be talking about difference and communication between Burkina Faso and uh, the U.S. Also about greeting in Burkina Faso, the ways people do business in Burkina Faso. The, regarding time in my country is really important. I'm going to more explain you about it. If my country is collectivist culture or not, and also if my country society is masculine or feminine, and I will conclude by the gesture in my country. So let's start by uh, the difference in communication in Burkina. For the difference in communication is mostly is. We have phones in Burkina Faso. We wrote letters. We mostly do face-to-face -face communication. But the phone is usually on cities. It's not on village. But my country is mostly 80% uh, is more rural area. It's not, we have a few cities. So I will say phone is not is really a big difference between US and uh, Burkina Faso. And also letters is really people write a lot and sending by post. Compared to U.S., maybe the letters in U.S. is mostly for cards, sending cards to friends and stuff. We mostly do face-to-face -face, uh, communication. It's more about respectful. You respect the person on, on, on face to you, and it's more easy to communicate. We, don't, we do have social media, media, but it's only on CD and for students like Facebook, Twitter. We have French social media like name Badu and a lot. But is a uh, few people, I can say 5% of the country use social media. So I would say it's not really common in my country. So this is one of the difference in communication. Email is mostly used on office in my country. It's really it's not common. It's a few people, even people who work on office don't really use. They don't like working on emails. They prefer write a paper and send it to somebody. So this is mostly the difference of communication in Bukin, between Burkina and the U.S. So my next slide will be about of greeting in Burkina Faso. This is a really important uh, subject. Uh, we may take longer explain, explaining you, but I will just go shorter to explain about uh, greeting in Burkina Faso. Let's start by the handshaking. Handshaking is a uh, 
you first like you guys see on the picture is uh you have to wait for the older guy, like somebody who's older than you, you gotta wait for him to give you his hand before. You cannot just come to the guy and just give give your hands and it's kind of impolite. You gotta wait before and also you gotta know the the the, the, the person you're going to shake in his hand. You cannot just meet someone and just give in your hand and want to shake. And um about bowing is bowing is mostly uh to honor older people too, somebody who more older than you. And also we have a traditional chief in village, like, uh, you know, it's mostly for uh, chief, so you have to bow. Sometimes people go more down than that, like really down and trying to bow. And uh, about kissing on the cheek is, uh, oh, sorry. It's, uh, it's usually not common in Burkina Faso. Is, is, is rarely see, is seen in Burkina Faso. Is uh, mostly on, you can see that mostly on cities, and uh, it has uh, to be like uh, also pr it's mostly priced between a uh, different difference of society, like a poor guy and a rich guy. You you may sometimes see a poor guy like trying to 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 um you know to give honor to the guy and trying to hold him and to get some money. But it's, it's not really common. It's mostly, if you see that on CDs, it's like, uh, like people from different country, you know? People who travel somewhere, you know? People who go to, to, to Europe and back to the country, you know, they, they have kind of new, new, um, new kind of uh, gr greeting. My next slide will be, I will be talking about uh, the way people do business in Burkina Faso. We have many ways of business, how people do business in Burkina Faso. We have like family business, micro business, and farming, subsistence business. And my country is a land landlocked country, so it's, it has to do a lot about business. So um, let's start by uh, the family business. Most of people, born, grew up, and um, family, they work for the dad and the family, they're trying to keep the money in the family. And, uh, and um, it's difficult to, to get in, even like you guys studying business or human resources, is if they can hire you, and it's, they will still gonna tell you what to do. You know, because it's about family, they, they, they don't wanna change their mind, you know. And about macro businesses, um, Mostly for people who went to school and they have idea of doing business, and they usually get finance from uh, like someone, a cosigner, and they get money and start to do their micro business. And usually, micro business in, in my country, most of them don't pay taxes because it's really little business. And uh, farming is one of the most kind of business I can in, in Burkina Faso because people has farm, they use it for living and also for selling, you know, to have some to have money back. Is uh, same thing like a subsistence business, you know, people we have uh, people you do like peanut, uh, beans, you know. They they just doing to, to have for living to eat. And the less to wear of that they're using for their business, they're selling. And about the landlocked country, my country is landlocked. We don't have like an ocean. So we have countries near, near my country, they have ocean. So we have to drive. Everything we import to, uh, to my country has to be from somewhere else. We have to drive like 10 hours, 12 hours with uh, those trucks to go pick up. So it's kind of tricky to, for, for business. And people travel a lot. People travel a lot because it's landlocked. They cannot, you know, they have to use uh, some other country to transfer the, 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 the stuff they, they need. My next slide will be uh, re regarding time in my country. Punctuality is really, really, it doesn't work in my country, actually. 
mostly in Africa is complicated. And um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm, I'm on time today, but you guys are lucky. <laughs> so punctuality, people is not really punctual. And I actually have some friends that are supposed to be here. Maybe they will show up a few minutes. They're African, they're late. Uh, and it's becoming normal in, in, in my country to be late, you know. Even people, like for example, people who have meetings, they even can be late. The, 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 the guy who's supposed to do the meeting will be late. You know? So if you come late, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. It's just like normal, you see? <laughs> so it's a kind of big problem. And, and now I'm, I used to have a lot of problems because of that with my friends. They're always late. So I'm, I'm, I'm changing now. I'm not late. And you know, it's stuff I used to learn, learn. And now I'm OK with that. So, if I have an appointment with a friend at 1, I will say at 11, so two hours before. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll be on time. If my country is a collectivist country, yes, my country is a collectivist country. Because it's about family, it's about extended family and extended relationship. Family, family will be like people from your tribe, from your mom and dad. And and after they get married to someone, and they become like extended family, more people, and uh, relationship will be like friends and uh, neighbors in my country is like your first family. So, and my country belongs to different group. Any anybody has a different group in my country, and they take care of each other. So. Um, is a really a collectivist country. So like, as you see in a picture, is an African proverb, like, we say, like, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. That's an African proverb, and I actually used to work in Africa. My next slide will be, um, if my country is a masculine or feminine society. And Burkina Faso, we have quite we have a quality of life, and it's really standing out from the crowd. The crowd is not supposed or is not uh, you're not supposed to, st to stand up from the crowd. It's not ad admirable in my country. So, is my country definitely a feminine country, and uh, it's 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 quite a bit of, of it's good. Is a quality of life. Uh, and it's a sign of, of success in Africa, usually work, and especially in my country, Burkina Faso. So let's go to gesture in Burkina Faso. Um, eyes contact, uh, signal, and finger, and, and the thumb. About eyes contact, usually when you talk to people in my country, especially to old people, you don't supposed to face them. Eyes, you, know, you don't supposed to give them eye contact. You mean is kind of, you know, being impolite. You know, in talking to your dad or your mom, you gotta be, you know, you gotta look on the guy. You cannot face, you know, you cannot face uh, straight to him. So uh, earlier I was talking about, uh, you know, punctuality, African, and some just showing up <laughs> late always. <laughs> okay, seeing you like. Uh, Signal can be like, uh, I can give example of signal would be like, when you're doing something bad, when you're saying something bad and your mom is just sitting next to you or your dad or your sister or friends, you know, they can make like some signal and you will understand immediately what you're saying is bad or what you're doing is bad, you, will, you, you know, you will keep quiet, you know. But uh, what I recognize here in U.S. is like people really, you know, free to say whatever they want, you know, they talk whatever they want in front of their parents. It's kind of cool, though, but I wish we could do that in Africa. <laughs> but not, we can. About finger or the thumb, um, so if I do that to, let's say I do that to Nikasio, maybe we think he won't understand. But if I do that to Sanjaku, like, what does that mean for you? Be careful. I mean, be careful. 
So it's kind of gesture you don't re usually use. And you see on the picture here, it's the lady doing that to Obama. Whew. I don't know if you could do that in Africa to one of our prisons. Don't even your friend or your, 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 your parent, this is really a sign of being impolite, you know. We don't, like this finger that, you know, showing your finger to someone is, is dis disrespectful, really dis disrespectful. So, uh, I have a lot of things to talk about, and, and I think I'm, I will be here for question, and if you guys would like to talk, and uh, with that, uh, thank you for listening.